One of the reasons for the severe shortage of good community homes is the serious, sometimes violent, opposition to them from people who live in the neighborhoods where proposed homes are to be located. These ruins are all that's left of a home designed to provide a community residence for 10 retarded adults. Anger, ignorance, and arson destroyed their dreams. Plans were being made to rebuild, but plans must also be made to educate the public about groundless fears and misguided prejudice. Most of the people on the block don't want the home here, especially not the families living right next door and across the street. I am under the understanding that they can turn violent at any given time. And when, when are they going to and when aren't they going to? Why do we have to keep one eye over here and um, just be very concerned? Their actions are different than a normal person. They sound different. It's not, you cannot understand it's the sounds that they make, and it's frightening to a child. We have to get out to those folks and give them the proper information so they don't believe that anymore. And although I'm being a bit glib, frankly, those misconceptions and uh, that misinformation is really runs rampant through a community. And I think that uh, they begin to believe the worst is going to happen rather than the best might happen.